Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can permanently turn off assistive touch, keep turning on by itself on the iPhone running iOS 15. Now there are a number of things that could cause assistive touch to keep turning back on even after you have tried to turn it off. So here, here are some things that you can try to do. First, go into settings. In settings, go down and tap on accessibility, then go down and tap on touch, then tap on assistive touch. Try to turn on, uh, tap on the toggle button to switch it off and then restart your device. So press and hold the side button and the volume down key, press and hold, and then simply restart your device. And then once your device boot up, give it a try and see if assistive touch still turns back on. Now, if assistive touch uh, still coming back on by itself, then you might want to uh, double check to make sure that there are no f uh, profile management installed on, uh, on your device that is causing the assistive touch to automatically turn on by itself. So here we go back into settings. So from your home screen, go into settings, then go down. Okay, so we go down to general and then tap on VPN and device management. Now check for any configuration profile that you don't use or which you haven't installed, but it's there. Try to remove it. So here I'm gonna tap on remove profile and I'm going to put in the screen passcode to remove it. Some profile will cause your certain functions on your device to automatically turn back on. So try to remove the profile, see if that helps. Okay, another thing that may cause the assistive touch to turn back on is the accessibility shortcut that has been assigned to the side button. So you can see that if I triple click on the side button right here, one, two, three, then there is the accessibility shortcuts. Sometimes that may cause you to um, accidentally uh, touch on assistive touch and that will come on or Sometimes that is selected on by default and for some buggy issue, uh, buggy reason, it just keep turning it back on. So you might want to go in here and turn off assistive touch and you can do that in settings. So go into settings, then tap on accessibility. In here we go down and tap on assess accessibility shortcut and then make sure you deselect assistive touch, okay? And then just from here, while you're in here, just go and turn off. So go in here, we turn off assistive touch. So that when we open up the sh shortcut, um, the accessibility shortcuts, um, the assistive touch is not in here. Okay, so give that a try as well and see if that helps. Okay, another thing that can cause this button here to come back on is the back tap. So you can see here, if I double tap, the button goes away. And if I double tap, that comes back on. Okay, so make sure that you turn this feature off. Go into settings and in settings, go down and tap on accessibility, then tap on touch. Now go all the way down to the bottom and tap on back tap. And then make sure assistive touch has not been assigned to double tap or triple tap, if it is, you may want to assign a different function to your back tap or choose or simply choose none. Okay, so that when we double tap, it does not turn on assistive touch. Okay, so now if I try to double tap, it no longer turn it back on. So after if you have tried all of those suggestions and you still have the problem, what you can do is go into settings, okay, and you can try to back up your phone to a computer, use iTunes to back up your device, or if you're connecting to your MacBook, try to back up your device. Make sure you back up all your data, photos, music, contacts, everything, back up everything, and perform a hard reset on your device. So you can go into general, and then go down to the bottom and tap on transfer or reset iPhone. Then you can choose reset all content and settings.
Or before you do that, just tap on reset. And perhaps you just want to reset all settings first to, um, to see if that can fix the problem. And if not, then you can uh, go to erase all content and settings. And that's it. And if after you try everything, uh, even after you have restored your device back to the default factory settings and you still have an issue, then you can uh, go to Apple and seek for further help. But it is very unlikely that you still have a problem after you perform a full reset on your iPhone. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.